Hello, my name is Andrew Wilkinson, and in this just-in-time video short, we're going to look at Interaction Center Business Manager, ICBM, loss of views. Interaction Center Business Manager is an extremely powerful tool that supervisors and business users utilize on a daily basis to get in-depth reports, real-time performance monitoring, feedback survey creation, quality management, and much more. So it's a very powerful tool. However, it is a licensed tool. We charge licenses for each of the features that you can unlock in Interaction Center Business Manager. The result of this is that if the correct licenses have not been given to the user, or if they are being consumed at the time the user is trying to log in, maybe they have another instance of the application running, then they will not have access to the full feature suite that ICBM has to offer. This just-in-time video short, we're going to show you some of the symptoms and fixes for situations where people log in to Interaction Center Business Manager and they don't see what they expect to see, which can be startling when you expect to see something and people think that it might be a malfunction with the software when really it's just not a clear understanding of how the licensing works and why they won't be able to see what they want to see if the licenses are being consumed elsewhere. Okay, so a couple key points before we get into the product. Each built-in feature in ICBM has an additional license associated with it. These additional licenses are checkboxes that can be found under the licensing tab in the user's container um, on a per-user basis. So if you need to add features or products that are available inside of Interaction Center Business Manager, you need to make sure to add them in the additional licenses for that user. Another thing that can be a common misconception is that a user can only have one instance of ICBM running at one time. The reason for this is license consumption. You can only be consuming your licenses at once. This is to prevent people from misusing licensing and trying to have more than one person using the same account. And the way that this works is that if you log into one machine and then you leave yourself logged in and go to another machine and try to log in, it will not steal the session from that other machine. You will log into Interaction Center Business Manager and it will be blank. This is a good indication that perhaps somebody else has signed in somewhere else or that you left an open session. Finally, we have a very useful tool which we'll look at in the product called Module Management and it's the best tool to identify what licenses you have, whether or not there is a licensing issue, and why you can or can't see um, what you're looking for. So. These are all very useful tools, and we'll dive right into the product. Okay, so here I am logged into Interaction Business Manager, and as you can see, the only built-in workspace that I can see is Interaction Optimizer. I see nothing else. I am logged in, which, by the way, you can check to see who you're logged in as in the bottom left-hand corner here. I'm logged in to IC1, and I am logged in uh, via the client station. This is in case I wanted to do listening or recording or something. And here we go. It says I'm connected as IC admin. The IC server is IC1, and it tells me what session manager I'm logged into. Okay. So I don't see anything here. So module management is the best way to see why you can't see what you can't see. So in this case, we're going to see that it is just license. So I can't see historical rights because all concurrent licenses are used. Insufficient licenses are installed. That's why we have the yellow triangle. So that one we don't even have the ability for. But we have another one down here, Interaction Quality Manager. The license is not assigned. That's why we're not seeing it. Interaction Reporter. That's another one. We don't have the license assigned. So I can close this and also we can look here and see wherever insufficient licenses are installed. This means that you need to actually get them or find them somewhere. Okay, so I close this. So I go back to my user account or IC admin and I can add some licenses that will unlock things to me. So I want to unlock Interaction Recorder and I want to unlock, uh, let's see here, Interaction Quality Manager and I want to unlock interaction feedback. So I click apply. I've given myself all of these licenses. I go back. I relaunch Interaction Center Business Manager. I log on. 
and now that we are in here we see all of these built-in workspaces now if I go click module management which by the way can also be accessed through tools module management and it will tell me the feedback license has been acquired the quality manager license has been acquired so this tells us very useful information so were I to log into my IC1 machine which you can't see but I've now logged into a different machine if you look at computer here you can see that this is IC1 which is separate from the machine that I was just on so if I come here and I log into Interaction Center Business Manager and I have logged into this machine also as IC admin so the same user I'm in on that other machine and I log in I do not see any of those modules that I just added the reason being as I've mentioned you come to module management so I don't see something that I want to see and I know I assigned the licenses a few minutes ago so huh so I can go to tools module management I can also click there and look license is unavailable because it is in use by another application and that means literally another instance of interaction center business manager on another machine so because I'm logged in somewhere else on another machine it will not let me use these licenses even though I have them the message is different it's saying I have the license it's in use by another application okay so using this you can very easily deal with an issue when somebody complains that they don't see it you can first check the licenses and you can then make sure that they aren't logged in somewhere else and the most useful tool in assessing this is module management thank you so much for attending this just-in-time video short and please check out the others for a wealth of knowledge